the jurors have got very narrow, narrow information that they're allowed to hear. And they've been paying very close attention. And guess what? I thought this was the most shocking thing today. They had a lot of questions for the investigator. You're allowed to do that in Arizona. The jury's allowed to ask questions. Listen carefully to the questions they ask, because I think it doesn't portend well for the prosecution. It's not an open and, duck, uh, 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 an open and shut case. It's not a slam dunk. Listen to these juror questions. So the jurors have some questions for you. For you. Were there any sets of knives that appeared to be missing a knife? What were the alibis given by those roommates? Was the gun that was used to kill Mr. Alexander found in Miss Arias' possession? No, it was not. Roommate alibis? Have they forgotten that Jody has admitted she's the one who inflicted these awful, awful wounds to her boyfriend? Uh, uh, Nishe Sanon, criminal defense attorney. When I heard this, I thought, Casey Anthony all over again. The whole world is screaming how guilty she is. And they're asking, well, where were the roommates? Do they have an alibi? Well, I think one of the biggest problems is and one of the reasons the prosecutor decided not to call this witness is this jury is paying close attention to what's going on. And I think the prosecution is concerned that this ex-girlfriend or girlfriend at the same time that Jody was dating... Travis Alexander would say something to even make it worse for the prosecution. I think the defense is setting up their arguments, and I think they're doing a great job, and the jury's sitting there and listening. Janie Weintraub, I was shocked when the jurors asked, oh, what about the roommates? Do they have an alibi? Who cares? She's admitted. Uh, she sliced and well, diced him. Well, maybe the jury's thinking what I'm thinking. I don't think her word's too good, Jane. I mean, you can't take Jody Arias' word for anything only because now you want to. I mean, first she gave a, one story. They don't get there till a month later to arrest her. Then she gives another story about the ninja robbers that are there. Then she finally comes up with self-defense, which she also has no corroboration for. I mean, this girl maybe is going to say that she was bullied into that. Maybe she's going to say that the interrogators, that she felt she had to say it. You know, you never know what she's going to say next. Well, she never said it. But you can't rely on 